I've never felt disabled and I don't think of myself that way today. I just feel like a normal guy. It's not the, the barrier of the situation of yourself that defines you, it's what you do with that. So anyone could be hit by a bus, so you need a plan B. When I was 12, they diagnosed me with a condition called juvenile motor neuron. Uh, this disability I've had from birth. So I have a connective tissue disorder called classical Tiefeller's Danlos syndrome. It basically means there's faulty collagen, and collagen's the glue that holds your body together. I was driving along perfectly normally, but there must have been something on the road. Uh, we think it might have been a water puddle or maybe some oil. As I passed it, my car just lost control completely. And then it went up an embankment and it came back down and the nose hit the tarmac. I tried to open the door with my fingers and just realised that my fingers weren't opening. And then I touched my leg and my legs were numb. And I couldn't move and I couldn't get out of the car. And that's when I knew what had happened and I'd become paralysed. It's very hard to come to terms with not being able to walk and, and not being able to do uh, what normal kids uh, were able to do. I did what pretty much every first year student does, you know, we, you go to the lectures, you go to your tutes, you, you do all the right things. However, my marks weren't being represented by that. I just withdrew from uni. It was a very uncertain time when I was diagnosed. I certainly didn't picture myself in a wheelchair. I always love performing. It's a kind of a feeling of freedom. Well, I stopped when I jumped off a trapeze and I dislocated my knee. A lot of things happened really quickly and I was forced to sort of look at other options which made me apply myself to my academics more. After the accident I had quite a few complications over the years. That was when I found a love for medicine. And it was really in 2014 when it came time for me to make a decision about medicine again. I mean, I've been thinking about it the whole time. Every single day, it was just a matter of when I was gonna come back and do it. For me, social work's been a big part of my life. I had a mentor. Uh, she helped me to you know, be where I am today. So I decided to call Griffith Uni back and I'm very hopeful in graduating. Uh, my social work degree uh, this year, so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything is done. I was worried that people were going to think I was incapable, and I do get that a lot of people assuming that I'm not intelligent or I'm not a capable person because of my appearance as a person with disability. It was something I feared and something I have faced. However, I feel like I've had the opportunity to prove a lot of people wrong too, which is always fun to do, um, and I really really appreciate the opportunity to teach people when they don't necessarily have high expectations of people with disabilities. I think my life is almost full of cliches, but it's the truth. I got into medicine because I want to help people. I got through medicine because I just worked every day. I've always wanted to play wheelchair rugby because just from the sheer brutality of what it's called, it's called murder ball. But the game itself, it's, it's kind of a combination of hockey, basketball and AFL. My goal for wheelchair rugby is just to keep going. Now I've done it for about four years now, uh, and I'm in my third year playing for Queensland. I would love to play for my country. One of the biggest challenges that I've had since the accident is actually getting employed. I put in my application just like everyone else, but about three weeks later I got an email saying, we've withdrawn your application, um, and that was because I had a spinal cord injury. I had, was fortunate enough to have a lot of advocates and all that came together and I think that's what really pushed everything to a point where two days before everyone started work, I got a phone call and saying, can you start on Monday? And that was that. I'm hoping to graduate at the end of next year, which should be really exciting and then hopefully move straight into a Masters of Speech because I wanted to work with children with disabilities because I feel music is really the language of children. An injury or accident or something, some big event in your life can enable you rather than disable you.